Now, if you watch me, you'll probably know that I've moved past the days of making Minecraft tutorials, but a year ago, I made this tutorial about motion blur, and the video absolutely blew up. Only problem is that the video was absolute garbage. Today, I'll be giving you guys an updated 2021 tutorial on how to get motion blur in Minecraft. Since then, a lot has surprisingly changed when it comes to getting good looking motion blur in Minecraft. In fact, it has become much easier to achieve no lag motion blur. This tutorial mostly applies to Minecraft versions 1.7.10 and 1.8.9, but it can work in the latest versions too. Consider subscribing if this video helps and let's get into it. So the first way to achieve motion blur is probably one of the most straightforward and easiest ways of achieving motion blur in Minecraft, and that being through PvP clients, which are designed to optimize the Minecraft gamer experience by providing useful mods that improve the gameplay of Minecraft, especially on PvP servers like Hypixel. PvP clients are also a very separate thing to hacked clients, if that wasn't very obvious. The two most popular PvP clients, Luna Client and Badline, both offer modules that give in-game motion blur and both clients work on the most popular versions of the game all you have to do is install one of these clients choose your version of minecraft and load up the game keep in mind that some servers like mineplex and cubecraft don't actually allow these two clients but you should be fine elsewhere for the motion blur to work you basically need to have fast render disabled in your minecraft settings and just choose from there the amount of motion blur that suits you this motion blur is fairly potato PC friendly, but the more FPS you get, the better the motion blur will look. But let's say you don't want to use a PvP client like Luna. Well, you're in luck! <laughs> Next up, we'll be covering Forge, which is a huge part of the Minecraft modding community and the PvP community. Forge allows you to install almost any mod you desire. To install Forge, go to their website link in the description, download your desired version, and install it. For some reason, I had to install Java to get Forge to install, so just to be safe, you should also download Java and download the 64-bit Windows offline version. Open your Forge download, and it should come up with the mod installer. Click install client and click OK. Also quick note, but this won't work if you've never booted up the version of Minecraft that you are intending to use Forge on. Go to your Minecraft launcher and look for Forge in your installations. Run it in Minecraft and quit the game. Now you can download the motion blur again. The link will be in the description. Navigate to your .minecraft folder and drop the mod in the mods folder. Once you restart Minecraft, you should be able to type slash motion blur in the chat and choose from 1 to 10 to choose the amount of motion blur that you want. This motion blur doesn't look nearly as great as the other ones, but it looks decent and it doesn't kill your FPS. Yes. Another easy way to get motion blur is through shaders. If you use either Luna Client, Bad Lion, or any other like anything, I mean Optifine, you should have a shader option in the Minecraft settings. This option allows you to use two different shaders. The first one we'll be going over is Penza 73, which is the preferred one for PvP as it's much better for frames and it looks much better in PvP. For some reason with this shader, the lower your FPS is, the more intense the motion blur is in return, which is kind of weird. Limiting your FPS to something like 100 will make the motion blur far more intense than leaving your FPS on, say, something like 500. Basically, the lower your frames, the more the motion blur will compensate, which is good for potato PCs. The second one, motion blur only, is also great for PvP, but it has a much stronger and greater impact on your frames. Both shaders will be available in the description. All you have to do is download these and locate your shader folder in Minecraft. But let's say that didn't work. Well, don't lose hope. The final method to getting motion blur in Minecraft is through the program Reshade. Reshade is a program that allows you to add loads of different effects to your game, including motion blur. However, clients with anti-cheats such as Badline will accidentally pick this up and might mistake it as a cheat, meaning that this probably won't work with PvP clients. But this will work on vanilla Minecraft. Download Reshade from their website and once it's finished downloading, click install. Once you're in the setup, click this button here. Here you'll be able to find Minecraft. You can do this by clicking browse. Go to wherever your Minecraft launcher is and right click it and click open file location. Open the runtime folder and click JRE. Click 
click bin and double click Java W. Once you've done that, click OpenGL, scroll down to the very bottom of this window and click Legacy Standard Effects. This is the effects package that features the motion blur. Once this comes up, you need to take fake motion blur.fx. You can also untick everything else if you only need the motion blur. Click OK once you're done and now you've installed Reshade. Next time you load up Minecraft, there should be a pop-up on the top of your Minecraft that shows that Reshade is working. Pressing the home key to the top right of your keyboard should allow you to enter the menu. From there, search motion blur and enable it. Again, you can also change the amount of motion blur that you want to be working with, with whatever you want. And with that said, anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.